The portion that is given for us uh, this uh, morning is taken from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, where we see the restoration of uh, the, the nation of Israel, verse 8 until 12. But you, O mountains of Israel, shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people Israel. For they shall soon come home, for behold, I am for you, and I will turn to you, and you shall be tilled and sown. And I will multiply people on you, the whole house of Israel, all of it, that these cities shall be inhabited and waste places rebuilt. And I will multiply on you man and beast, and they shall multiply and be fruitful. And I will cause you to be inhabited as in your former times, and will do more good to you than ever before. Then you will know that I am the Lord. I will let people walk on you, even my people Israel, and they shall possess you, and you shall be their inheritance, and uh, you shall no longer bereave them of uh, children. Now, there is a lot of things that are there, but my focus, you know, our focus this morning, me and, uh, you know, and my friend, uh, we were looking into this word, what God has for each one of us, for the sake of those uh, young people uh, who are here, the young warriors. Uh, today, this morning, you know, we're going to see uh, what God has uh, in each one of our lives. Uh, Sometimes when something is broken, we fix it. Sometimes if something is not working, it uh, requires little more attention. If a plant is there, it's not growing, it's telling you that it requires something. Sometimes we are stagnant in our lives and needs a pusher, needs something to flush out and uh, remove all the stagnant things. Uh, wherever it is stagnant, my friend, it stings. Uh, whether it is physically uh, a water pond or our spiritual lives. Uh, so, what we wanted to you know, look this morning is into his presence. This God is saying that when I turn to you, you will be tilled and you will be sown. God spoke to, you know, uh, uh, as uh, uh, earlier also in the same regard, in the same lines where God has uh, revealed so many things uh, for our church. When we were frightened, when we were afraid, God spoke to us, my little children, don't be afraid. Because it is me who have called you. About 14 years ago, when we look back, you know, when TCF has begun in this place, I was looking around and uh, watching if there is any Telugu church available in this area. I wanted to let you know, I couldn't find anything. But you know what? I praise God and I worship the name of the Lord today after 14 years, uh, you know, uh, TCF is formed. And TCF is not uh, the efforts of a man but it is uh, the will of the Father who is in heaven. It is pleasing unto the Father that his kingdom will be established here among the Telugu Indians, uh, that we all can come together here and worship the name of the Lord. Are you happy? Hello? Are you happy? See, every week God has been you know, gracious unto us and he speaks to us. He speaks to every area of our life and he gives his word so that we live according to the word. People who live according to word will prosper, will increase, will multiply. People who live according to the flesh and there, you know, we see a lot of corruption, sin that tampers the very image of God and the inability that causes man, you know, to be crippled and not to do the will of the Father. But individually, when I talk to everyone, you know, whenever God given an opportunity, I see the growth, uh, a beautiful graph. 
Today where you are, you have walked uh, so many years, uh, those who are there from the beginning of this fellowship, uh, from 14 years, uh, I am very pleased uh, with each one of you because you knew and you believed uh, that it is God who is holding your hand. Uh, and you were faithful, you were faithful, you have put your trust in him and he has been guiding our lives and establishing our life. Uh, so we will be tilled or we will be established when the heavenly father who created heaven and the earth turn to you and turn to me he, when he looks at us there's something happening there's something happens in each one of our life today it's a time for you and me to realize how much you are tilled how much you are sown how much you are are being fruitful in each one of your life i've realized something if you don't submit to the lord jesus christ in the initial stage it is impossible for you to receive his word we need to submit to the father we need to submit to his son jesus christ to receive that word in our life we won't be able to listen to anything what father has because we have not submitted so my friend today you might be sitting here as an individual person and you wanted to say I wanted to receive everything but I don't want it to submit I don't want to be obedient to the Lord Jesus Christ let me tell you that's the basic step to begin your relationship Today, if you are sitting here without the relationship of the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, I want to let you know, you're just fooling around. You're just goofing on. You're just, uh, you know, wandering. The real, uh, uh, the day, you know, when you begin your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, that is where your real journey starts. I don't know whether you have already started it. I don't know whether you have been walking with the Lord Jesus Christ. But every day, what we will see is we will see our lives be changed into the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the retreat, we have, uh, we have, uh, we, we pondered upon these thoughts, uh, you know, uh, how a person can become fruitful, how a person can be focused uh, in the race that has been set for us, uh, and how we have to look unto the Lord Jesus Christ and walk in this, uh, and run in this race. Uh, there are three obstacles we have looked into. You know, there is a weight uh, that is called sin. Uh, when weight of the sin, uh, you know, in, uh, 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 hold us, uh, you know, it will it will entangle us, and it will it will not uh, give you that power to run that race of uh, righteousness. Uh, this path of righteousness is being set by the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and according to His set rules, uh, we have to you know walk in this way. Many times in our games we became disqualified because we did not follow the instructions in the retreat. There was a lot of chaotic, people were just shouting, no, 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 I did this, I did that. But they were saying, you know, the, the, I like the word uh, Deepthi was saying, you did not listen to the instructions. You understand what I'm saying? We have a tendency when you bring something, you know, you don't look at the, you don't read the instruction manual. You just open that and you wanted to tear everything and what you, even if a little child you see, if, he's, if there is a remote, uh, remote control uh, a car, he'll look for the remote. All he looks at the one switch, it says power, the red one. He knows that one he's, once he, you know, press that one, he can operate uh, that big car. But that big car owner says you have to read the manual to understand the functionality of that car today you are sitting here but you if you did not go through the manual you are just uh, you know sometimes you know i i I, tr I wanted to do very different things and one time i wanted to fit the ceiling fan um i'm not experienced in that one but i i put everything together everything was fine when i went up and when i you know trying to fix that when i was looking from down I actually put all those uh, blades the other side. Now I have to pull it down. But then I also realize, then there are two cups. Uh, one that will be uh, down to the, the ceiling and the other one will go up. Uh, I always messed up and the way, it took so much time for me, you know, to put it back together. Sometimes you are wasting your time because you did not listen to the instructions of God. So today, I'm going to give the rest of the time that God has, uh, you know, uh, for my friend. But my point, uh, what we wanted to know is, uh, 
uh, understand. You might have, uh, you know, weaknesses, you might have a lot of uh, potential, but there was something stopping, there was not something that was pushing you to do the will of the Father or to experience goodness. But God is saying, you know what, I'm going to be more gracious unto you this time. I will be more gracious unto you. I will do much more good to you than I have done earlier. 14 years ago or years ago, you know, wherever you have started your journey with the Lord Jesus Christ, if you are stuck in the journey, the Lord is saying, you know what, I'm going to do a favor to you. I'm going to give you that push that is needed. I'm going to give you the ability, you know, the strength that is needed to walk in that uh, path of righteousness. My friend, come on, let's all close our eyes and look to the Lord in prayer.